Hello everybody, this is Trevor Truck ASMR, and I am playing a game called Outcore, and this game has been requested time and time again by Reggie, and I am finally playing it. So we're going to see what this game is all about. Um, apparently my computer, my desktop, has been taken over by this game. I cannot see... Actually, wait a moment. I'm just confirming that the recording is still actually going. Okay, it looks like it is. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, let's see how this game goes. Let's see what happens. A little bit nervous right now. <laughs> because this is my... <laughs> This is my actual desktop computer with my personal files. Oh no. <laughs> my file. Where is it? Please. Help me. Give me this file. Drop Lumi onto me. Is... Is this a trap? Yes. Now I've done it. Now I've done it, friends. Hello? Hi. My name is Lumi. You must be the owner of this place, right? Sure. Cool. This place looks so big. It must be wonderful having this place all to yourself. Oh, I didn't let you introduce yourself. What is your name? Okay. Whoops. Trevor. It's nice to meet you, Trevor. I want to thank you for helping me. That thing you gave me, I think it was a part of myself. Up until you gave it to me, I didn't even remember my own name. And to be honest, I'm still not sure how I got here, or what just happened before I got here. But there is one thing I can tell you for sure. This file thing is not the only one around. There are more files like this scattered around your world. If the first one restored some of my memories, then perhaps the others will restore the rest? I don't know this place. It's not something I can do alone. Will you please help me find my other files? Really? Yay! Thank you so much. It's a big relief knowing that I'm not alone in this situation. Okay, give me just a second here. Okay. Let's go. The next file's location is, hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure about the exact location, but I can sense its presence is in a place called My Computer. Quick access. Can you get us there? The presence is stronger now. We're getting closer. It's in a place called Documents. I'm sure of it. Okay, so I have two screens right now, two monitors, so the file explorer is open, opened up on the second screen. So, give me just a second here. I... This is so weird to me. <laughs> so we're gonna go with my documents. Okay. This is it. Do the same thing as last time and drop the Lumi data file onto me. Okay. So, just to give you guys a little glimpse. Because it showed up on my second screen here. Um, as you can see, these are all my documents right here. So we're going to go to lumi.data and drag it onto Lumi. Yes, I can feel it. It's not working. 
This file is different than the last one. It's encrypted. It's not going to merge back into me unless we manually decrypt it. I think I can do this, but you'll have to do it with me. Let's begin. Okay. What's that sound? Oh my. Is that a safe with three light bulbs indicating we need to solve three challenges? What? Is it supposed to be symbolic or something? And look at that. There's a keyhole. It has the shape of a star-shaped cookie cutter. I'm good at guessing the shapes of silhouettes. But how do we get a key? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know. Here, let me try something. We're gonna create one. I'm not sure what this thing I just opened is, but it looks like you can paint in it. Try painting a key that would fit the keyhole shape. It doesn't have to fit exactly. Should be small enough to fit inside the shape, but big enough to count as a key. I created a new image file on your desktop called Lumi Safe Key PNG. So once you're done, simply save your drone and then I'll create the key. Good luck. Can I move this around? Okay, I can kind of move this around. Okay. So, I mean, can we kind of cheat? Like, can we just use a shape? It's gotta be kind of smaller. Okay. And let's say we fill it up to be like a yellow star. Okay. Save, right? Now try to fit the key into the keyhole. If it doesn't fit, then just draw a new one instead. Ha, got it. Well done. The first light bulb turned on and the keyhole changed. Now it obviously looks like a spaceship and absolutely nothing else. You know what to do about it. Good luck. Um, yeah, that does look like a spaceship. And it clearly, it clearly does not look like a, um, it most certainly doesn't look like Among Us. No, no, that's obviously not what it is. All right, so this is what I'm going to have to do by hand. Um, let's go with the brush. And size, we'll make it the biggest size. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to try my best to, like, get the contour of it. If I can. But, uh, this is going to look pretty... Ugly. Okay. Let's go with that. This is weird. This is so weird. The second light bulb turned on and the keyhole changed once again. Now it looks like a big empty... Never mind. Just draw a fitting key and let's move on. Okay. I mean, that is literally just a square... You know? So, let's see here. Ah, the old days of using Microsoft Paint. Really, really takes me back. Weird. The last one was surprisingly easy. I can't imagine making thumbnails on Microsoft Paint. Boy, that would be a challenge. I now have the ability to open my file. Once I start the decryption process, my memories will appear in front of us. You'll have to take control of my body in the memory and successfully reach the end. I know you can do it. Let's go. When you're ready, just drag me into the memory window. Oh. It's hacking my computer. This is... this is game over. This is game over. Whoa. It's very cool, though. Oh, now my computer is really lost. Oh, no.
Mm -hmm. It's me, your boy, Ashmadai the Destroyer. Listen, you and I, we're best buddies. You know what best buddies do together? That's right. They share their favorite platform and keyboard layouts with each other. Yeah, all the cool kids do that. So, um, how about you go first? I prefer... I prefer that one. Yeah, sure. This is how my story begins. Okay. This is Lumi. Her biggest wish is to leave the underground and explore above. Wake up, Lumi. Good morning, Lumi. Say hello to everyone. Today is Lumi's 18th birthday. That means she can finally decide her own fate. Hey, Lumi, do you want to go on an epic adventure today and make your dream come true? Yes. Oh, boy. Dad, what are you doing? I'm not dad, I'm... Captain Tutorial. What are you wearing? Have you been watching too much anime again? Unsettling. Laugh. Yes. I'm here to make sure you are ready for your adventure. We'll begin by teaching you how to move. First, start by moving your right foot in front of your left foot. Amazing. May have taken 18 years, but you finally learned how to walk. But can you figure out how to jump using the space button? Unbelievable. You actually figured it out? You proved without a doubt that you're ready for the three deadly challenges. Let's start with the candy-themed obstacle course. Okay. Not this again. Your task is to reach the end of the obstacle course. Let's hear what the crowd thinks. <laughs> you can do it. The only Lumi can navigate this deadly candy cotton fluffy, puffy obstacle course. Looks like the crowd is rooting for you, Lumi. Don't disappoint them. Don't I get a say in this? See you on the other side. Okay. Now we're into the game. Ooh. The movement is not what I expected. But it's very cool nonetheless. Alright. Nice. Cool music too. Dash with the left mouse button. Oh. How interesting. Can I, um, how do I get up here? Oh. Oh, that's convenient. Okay. So I have to dash to get a little extra air. So the blue orb, it restores the dash. I see. Nice. Okay, I'm kind of getting used to this. Whoops. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Who knew that lollipops would be so... deadly? Ah, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, that's more like it. Ooh, this is gonna take some getting used to. Oh, shoot. Alright. I got this. I swear, I got this. Okay. Jump. There we go. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Alright. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That is more like... I just have to really get myself accustomed to this jumping system that we got going on here. It's not too bad. Oh no.
Well done, Lumi. You've cleared the obstacle course. I'm so proud. Thanks. Now, as impressive as it may be, you will not get to the surface just by walking. You need something to protect yourself with out there. Oh, okay. Which is exactly why you need the tutorial hat. The tutorial hat? Yes, you heard it right. The tutorial hat. Woven from the finest silky rock in the underground, designed by the smartest engineers in Tutorial Corp. It will make you look stylish and protect your head from the cold. Indeed, the tutorial hat has everything you need to help you on your journey. Why tell you when I can show how awesome it is? Let's watch a commercial showcase in the tutorial hat. It's Trubal! Nigma Ramelafafon? Tagilia, if one in the Afikoman! Hot Gumi! Ken, Ken, Ken! Abra Kadabra Majadra! Bompa like intelligence, you have it on silly with him! This is. Shalom! This is exactly what I need in my life a tutorial hat. Fascinating, isn't it? Get your own hat, only from now on and until the end of supply of one hat. Wow, how do I get this hat? Why, I'm glad you asked. All you need to do is pay a certain amount of score points, which you can collect from this challenge I've just set up for you. So we just gotta get some points, huh? Okay. Your second deadly challenge is to earn enough score points to buy this hat. The recommended price of the tutorial hat in regular retailers is 2,000 score points, and the discounted price can usually reach 1,000 score points. But hold on. Unbelievable. I've just been told we've got a new deal just for you, Lumi. 5,000 points. That's right, only 5,000 points that you can have your very own tutorial hat. But can you do it? Let's hear what the crowd thinks. You can do it, Lumi. Only Lumi has it in her to support the endless, unsustainable cycle of capitalism. We believe in you. Well then, Lumi. Looks like the crowd is rooted for you. Don't disappoint them. I will not disappoint the crowd. Oh, it's like, it's like pinball. I got it. Whoops. Okay, so pretty sure I'm gonna have to collect all of these then. Oh, nice. Oh, I see. These give me a little bit of a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog vibes, honestly. Slowly. There we go. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's get that 5,000. Oh. Nice music, too. Yes. The 100 points. Just as long as I can keep bouncing like I have been. I wonder how I get back up there, because I think there are a lot of good points up that way. Ah, oh, there we go. That's exactly it. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is like extra. How very cool. Oh, yeah. So that should be some extra points for me. Oh, we're, we're almost there. Just gotta keep it going. Oh, I can collect all of these little things. Well done, Lumi. You successfully earned 5,000 or more points. Your hat will be delivered to you in 12 business days. Aren't you supposed to take my money? So 
Stop right there, villain. Villain? That's right. You're the one who put these people in the burning buildings, aren't you? Well, fear not, everyone. I, Captain Tutorial, shall defeat this villain and save the burning citizens. In that particular order, I'm burning to death. Before I annihilate you, let's hear what the crowd has to say. Oh, let's rescue the people first, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Don't worry, villain. There are other helpless citizens stuck in this building. But before I defeat you and save them, I must change to my battle suit. Get ready. It's tutorial time. I have to ask, what is this game exactly? What is this game? Now that I've got my battle suit on, you will not be able to commit evil. Your last deadly challenge is to defeat me, and as a lesson I shall teach you how to fight. Oh? Oh, well. don't get hit by the star. I wonder... got him. Alright, just stay out of the way. Oh man. My timing has got to be spot on for this. Oh. Oh, those stars. I can't do anything with those stars there. Wait. Alright. Got him. Ouch. Uh. Oh, look at all these different options. Hey, best friend, it's me, the destroyer. Here to choose this to skip the boss fight champ. Oh. I guess we have to... What's the difference between retry and reset boss? Okay, we're just gonna do... We'll do retry. Got him. Alright. What is this? Oh. This is like the second phase of the battle. Oh. Use that to jump up. Yes. This is some... 18th birthday, isn't it? I never had this experience on my 18th birthday. I'll tell you that much for sure. Okay. Oh, this is like the chaotic phase of the boss fight. Here we go. Oof. Well, I think we either saved the people or we destroyed them. Well done, Lumi. You did it. Dad, why did I have to go through this? Well... It's because of the unknown dangers that lie in the world above. Never since you found that photo as a child, all you've been talking about is exploring that world. The one with the scenery I had never seen before. It had text written on it that said to Lumi from the world above. How could I not want to explore the world above after that? Exactly. I didn't want you to have this dream, and that's why I confiscated the photo. We don't know anything about the world above. And because of that, we can only assume it's not safe. Most people who went to explore the world above never came back. And those who did have no longer been the same. They never told us what they saw out there. I didn't want you to end up like them. I didn't want you to lose. I didn't want to lose you or anyone ever again. Dad... I wasn't stupid. I knew making you drop that dream is beyond my ability. 
so I decided to use the time we have left to have some fun, and also to make sure you're ready for the world above. These tests proved without a doubt that you are. You've really grown up to be capable, to be a capable adventurer, Lumi. Come on now, I know you had fun. Yeah. Now before you go, have one last laugh with me. This game just hits you where it hurts, doesn't it? By the way, I have something for you. Catch. Yeah, that's exactly what I remember it to be. Thanks, Dad. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Lumilia, and good luck. So that was one... That was one memory. Ah, so this is how it all started. And that was my dad. Oh god. I just realized that means you know my dad now. I swear, he's not always dressed like that. It's just that he's always so overdramatic and easily influenced. He once saw a TV show called Mr. Chef and decided that he's a world-class food artist. He ended up burning our house three times. He's so embarrassing, but behind all that mess, he's actually a good dad who cares about me. Anyway, thanks for helping me recover that memory. I feel just a little bit more whole now. Say, would you like for us to continue looking for my files? You can also take a break if you'd like. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was interesting. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break for the time being. Um, and next time that we come back to this, we're gonna look for the other files. This game is very interesting so far. The fact that it integrates the desktop and all your files is pretty interesting. So, anyway, this has been Outcore. And I hope you all have enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a nice day. I will see you in another video. Alright, goodbye.